Welcome to today's episode of the Arena Sports Show with me, your host, Helga Schutz. Well, rugby tops the action in today's show with Namibia um, getting ready for the Rugby World Cup. They had a warm-up match against the Blue Bulls on Saturday. I'll report on that. And we'll also take a look at their farewell dinner last week when they were sent off. We've also got netball in the show and then a special guest, a surprise guest later in the show. So stay tuned for that. But let's start off with rugby and the Blue Bulls beat Namibia 43-30 in their final Rugby World Cup warm-up match at Fachkop, the Winterk High School Stadium, on Saturday. After the game, I spoke to Namibia coach Alistair Kutsia. Let's take a look. Obviously, um, we always want to win a game. That's how you and, and what you prepare for. But look, I'm pleased with uh, the performance uh, and the effort, especially in the second half. And, uh, uh, and also a team that is never consistently trained together. Uh, you know, some uh, good uh, individual performances. So really, this was the depth of our squad. And we needed this before going to the World Cup, you know. Uh, quality both side, because under pressure at, uh, at scrum time, it put us a lot under pressure at ball time as well. But uh, look at the tries we scored, I'm really pleased with that. And uh, there were a few out there which we didn't cap- capitalize on, you know. I-, I think it could have been closer, but uh, look, uh, mission accomplished. We wanted to give the guys game time. We needed them to be a bit uh, match uh, sharp at uh, good intensity like a team like the Bulls. So I'm happy. Great. Right, now the big adventure starts. You leave for the World Cup next week. So let's quickly look ahead. Your first match against Italy. How do you feel about that one? Well, look, uh, we have to remember that we're playing against a Tier 1 country. Uh, uh, they have a very good side and they have been playing really well. I mean, last year, Autumn Series, they, they beat Australia. Uh, they also beat the Welsh uh, in the Six Nations. And, uh, you know, we, we understand the challenge, but we have prepared well. Uh, we've got 15 guys who haven't uh, played today, that, and we've been working with them for the last two weeks to prepare for Italy. So whilst this team was preparing for the Bulls, our uh, starting 15, you know, uh, were preparing for Italy. So I'm, I'm uh, really excited that we will have an uh, opportunity with uh, our, our, our top team to, to really uh, Go and have a good one against Italy. And good luck to Alistair and the boys. Well, I also spoke to Jake White, the director of rugby of the Blue Bulls, and of course a former World Cup winning coach with the Springboks in 2007. So let's hear what he had to say. You know, look, I, mean, I was very happy. Considering we've only been playing for about a week and I've basically been doing a lot of pre-season work. So, first time I've got to work with a couple of these guys. Um, and it's always tough, yeah. You saw how difficult it was at the end there, you know. So, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just glad we could help Namibia prepare for the World Cup. Right, I was impressed with your defence. Namibia really attacking, but your defence very strong. Yeah, look, I must say, you know, that's, as I said, especially when you've got a new group of players. And they've never played together, this group of players. We've been working hard on our defence. We leaked a few tries up on the ball as well, but I mean, generally, as you say, we were quite good. Right. Jake, of course, uh, the big interest now is the Rugby World Cup coming up. So, uh, who do you think is going to win, and what do you think are the Springboks' chances? Yeah, look, I mean, I think Springboks showed last night that if they play well, they can beat anybody. You know? And uh, that's always nice to know. Um, when you go to a World Cup, you need that confidence. Um, and I've got no doubt after last night, the box will be very confident. But it's going to be one of those World Cups, I think, like all of them, there's always going to be intrigue and mystery coming in certain games. Um, and I think, uh, you know, I think there's so many sides that can win it because there's so many teams that can beat each other. So it'd be interesting to see who gets out of the pool stages and then I think it'll be easier to see who's the team. Right, and Namibia, of course, we're going to our seventh World Cup. We're still looking for our first win. What do you think of our chances? Yeah, look, I'm not sure to Alistair. It's one of those difficult ones. You've got a really tough pool, you know, so you know, I think everyone's talking about the Uruguay game, but I mean, it's the last game of the World Cup, so hopefully by then you haven't been demoralised. We're playing all the teams that are ranked at top in the world. You know, France and New Zealand, our tough games in France in France is going to be enormous. So, yeah, look, I think Namibia will, they've always been, they've always been, you know, fighters. And like, historically, they've always been a tough team to beat. So, hopefully, this year they'll get a win at the World Cup. Great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Some words of encouragement from Jake White. 
Well, after the game, I also spoke to some of Namibia's players, to Jacques Tron, the scrum off, as well as the flanker, Max Kachieko. So let's take a look. Um, it was, as we expected, physical, hard, fast, uh, but I enjoyed it a lot. Great experience to take with just before the World Cup. And I have to say, well done to the Bulls and thank you for coming. Um, it was, like I said, physical as we expected. Right, Jack, now you're leaving for the World Cup next week. So how are you feeling about that? Um, it's my first World Cup, so I'm very excited personally. Um, I think we're well prepared. So very excited to take on All Blacks France. Um, it's a privilege to play against these teams. I mean, it's names that's been in rugby for a long time. And then hopefully Namibia can take along um, their first win in the World Cup. So that's, that's the main aim. And hopefully you can do that for the country. Um, I'm actually excited and I'm looking forward to it. Um, obviously, it's uh, playing at the World Stage, so it is nerve-wracking, but exciting as well. Right, you were at the previous one in Japan. How was that experience? Um, it was out of the world. Um, nothing that we've ever experienced before. We, can only, we only experienced it what, once in four years. So, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's very exciting. Right, and of course, the whole nation will be behind you. How do you feel about the support here as well today? Um, obviously, we're loving it. Um, we're loving the photos. I mean, I'm, I'm tired of smiling right now, but uh, no, we're loving the, 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 the support from, uh, from everyone. Um, it is a uh, fuel for us, so um, yeah, just keep it coming. We love it. Right, and do you think you can finally win a game at the World Cup? We are hoping to do that. We, we know we can. We've prepared well. Um, I think we've got a very good team. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed. Well, we're still with the national team and they had their official send-off ceremony last week Tuesday where Minister of Sport Agnes Chongarero gave them an inspirational send-off. Let's take a look. To the players, you are the embodiment of the Namibian spirit. You have worked tirelessly, honing your skills pushing your limit and embracing the challenges that come your way. You possess not only the physical propensity, but also the mental strength and resilience to overcome any obstacle. Remember that as you step into that field, you carry not only your own dreams, but also those of the entire nation. Let your passion burn bright and your determination shine through. For you are the heroes that inspire generations to come. Play dear players, as you prepare to embark on this journey, know that our support knows no boundaries. We, as a Namibian nation, Stand united behind you, cheering you on every step of the way. Know that even the outcome may not always favor us. It is a sheer spirit, an unwavering effort that defines true champions. We believe in you, trust in your abilities, and stand beside you as you face the world's best. Let's move on to some netball news and the finals of the Capricorn Group Schools Netball League took place at Vintuk Gymnasium on Saturday. In the under-15 final, Vintuk Gymnasium beat Vintuk High School 33-19 and after the game I spoke to the opposing captain Santi van der Walt of Vintuk Gymnasium and Azania Bais of Vieja S. So let's take a look. And winning the final 33-19, how was the match for you? It was, it was a tight game. We, we struggled straight, but it was too. Okay, and how was the season as a whole for you? It was, yeah, as I said, competition and playing our best. Okay, congratulations. Right, so with us we have Azania Base, the captain of VRS. Losing there, but what did you think of the game? It was an incredible game. We really um, um, 
improved on our game if we take it from 2022 and where we are now. Right, and how is the season as a whole for you? We had an incredible season and being able to play second, it's a great one. So what are you aiming for next year? We're still on netball and in the under-17 final, Vintuk Gymnasium were also successful beating Vintuk Afrikaans private school 41-23 in the final. After that game, I spoke to one of the players of Vintuk Gymnasium, Lihandri Engelbracht. So let's hear what she had to say. It was a nice game. It was a hard game. We gave our best and I think Bob also gave the best. Uh, I just want to thank my coaches and my team. I think we did a very good job. Right, and how was the season as a whole for you? Uh, this season, it was a great season for us, I think. And I think we owe it all to our coaches. Right, and so now next year you're going to continue playing, and what are you aiming for? Uh, yes, hopefully next year we'll play for the first team and then we'll win the Super League again. Great. And this tournament, what does it mean for netball in, uh, at your school, would you say? Uh, it's a great honor to win the Super League at our school. It, um, Vintage Gymnasium has always been unbeatable, <laughs> so it feels good. Great, well done. Thank you. Let's move on to the MTC Netball Premier League. And after the weekend's matches, Namibia Correctional Services have taken over at the top of the log. Let's take a look at all the results and the latest log position. Right, let me tell you more about our surprise guests in today's show. Well, former Brave Warriors coach Tom Saintfit was in Namibia recently and I caught up with him and he tells us more about his visit as well as his um, recent success with Gambia. Let's take a look. Yeah, Namibia is always my African home and I have very good memories together with my family here. Um, we are here on a trip uh, with uh, friends from Belgium, uh, about eight people we are in total, and we made the whole tour. We, we told these people that Namibia is the most beautiful place on this planet and they wanted to experience it and we are almost on the end of our trip but they enjoyed it very much. And, yeah, it's always coming home in this beautiful country and uh, for me, for my family, it's a fantastic place to be. So it's feeling home and we were here for a two-week holiday and uh, tomorrow we fly back, back to Belgium and back to duty. Great. Well, Tom, just uh, tell us a bit. You've had a very interesting career so far, gone to coach many countries, but lately, recently, you've been very successful with the Gambia. And um, yeah, just tell us about that uh, the last few years there. Yeah, naturally I had a lot of, after I left uh, Namibia, what was maybe that time a wrong decision, I had uh, so many short-term uh, stints, uh, short-term contracts with Malawi, Ethiopia, Bangladesh and other countries, uh, what was not always positive for my career because people didn't know why I stayed short-term. Uh, and in 2018 I got the opportunity to sign also a nine-month deal with Gambia, but I was really convinced that they had potential. They had not won a competitive match for five years before my arrival. The last win was September 2013, a uh, competitive win against Tanzania. But I really believed they had potential. They were 172 in the world. and. Uh, I, I took that opportunity and from day one we were very successful. I'm supported by a fantastic federation, a very good president, a good board, to a good coaching team and great players. And we are building step by step and I told them when I arrived uh, I'm here to qualify the Gambia. Uh, they didn't believe me because they didn't win a game for five years. Uh, but yeah, a few years later we qualified for the first time in history of the country for AFCOM. And uh, we immediately went uh, to the quarter-final uh, against host Cameroon. We, we finished sixth on the end ranking in AFCON and it was a great experience. And 
hopefully we can uh, repeat that also in the next AFCON. Uh, we are uh, one match away of another qualification. We have to play uh, in September, on 10th September, at home. But our home matches will be played in Morocco, the same problem as Namibia. We can't play at home. Uh, we will play at home in Marrakesh uh, against Congo Brazzaville and we need one point to be qualified. So let's hope we can uh, do it again and hopefully we meet the Brave Warriors uh, in Ivory Coast. That's right. Namibia's chance is also quite good to make it to the finals. So if you do play in Namibia, um, where will your heart be? Yeah, my, uh, my heart will be with Gambia naturally, but it will be a very difficult uh, difficult uh, task because uh, I can still sing the national anthem from Namibia and uh, that will be a very special moment so uh, let's hope we meet each other in the final of, of the tournament that will be fantastic but I'm very happy with the development also under Colin Benjamin even the previous coaches like uh, like uh, Ricardo Manetti who did a fantastic job and I'm still always in touch with them I also meet them here on my trip and uh, it's fantastic to see that Namibia is also performing very well uh, the, the fantastic victory against Cameroon is amazing, also the draw away, and uh, it's fantastic, I think Namibia is already qualified, or it had to be 4-4 between Burundi and, and Cameroon in the last game, uh, and uh, let's hope that we as Gambia, we are not yet there, we can't celebrate before we, we achieve that, we need one point against a tough opponent as Congo Brazzaville, but we are confident and we will do everything to achieve that, and let's hope we meet uh, the Brave Warriors there, it will be a very special moment for me. Well, good luck to Tom, but of course also to the Brave Warriors. And that brings us to the end of today's show. But as usual, before we go, let's take a look at some of the top action photos of the weekend. From me, it's goodbye.